Alola, Dapper Driver here, and today we're bringing you the PTCGO video we were supposed to have out last week. Um, I know it's a little late, but uh, I know this is a hype deck right now, uh, and we have the tools to build it. So what we're looking at is Metagross GX here with Geotech System, Giga Hammer, Algorithm, GX, 150. Search your deck up to five cards and put them into your hand. Very nice. Very nice. Um, and one thing I just noticed here that I think I want to change is to take out one rare candy and add one field blower. Because it makes a difference. It really does. And this also lets me show off some nice stuff I got. I actually was able to pull this out of some uh, packs on here and this out of some packs on here. Very nice stuff. Oh, and my Tapu Lele. Um, if you guys are looking for a more budget-friendly version of this, um, I'm not sure what I would do. I might go with more Alolan Bullpixes, like a three count maybe, um, instead of Shaman. And actually, Shaman I put in here because I do not have a second Tapu Lele. This deck really runs with two Tapu Leles and no Shamans. But I threw a Tapu uh, a one one line of each of them due to the fact that. Um, I have a 1-1 one, one of them, I don't have two of either, so <clears throat> that's generally what I run in this. Um, but I mean, you get your general four Beldums, um, I got kind of two of the Ancient Origins one and two of the Guardians Rising one, um, same thing with Matang, I have one Ancient Origins and one, um, one Guardians Rising. Um, and since I only have three Metagross, I am only playing three Metagross. That's all I have. So, because I don't have a fourth one, I went ahead and put an extra Delmize in here. Um, and for some reason I actually got an extra Volpix in here as well. Uh, I think it's because I'm playing one less Matang. There's no reason to have three Matangs when you have three Metagross. And you're still playing Rare Candy. So I have a two... Two Matang, three Rare Candy to uh, kind of offset trying to get it up that way. We got uh, two Field Blowers. We got three Max Potions. Four is almost necessary, actually. We got three Rare Candies. Um, I got kind of all three. I got a bunch of different kinds. We got one Rescue Stretcher. I'm kind of debating on putting a second one in. We got uh, four Ultra Ball to search out anything you want. Uh, we got four VS Secret Reuse, our supporters. We got one Altar of the Sun, just so I can get rid of that weakness in case I'm facing fire. Yes, they can get rid of it with Field Blower, but uh, until they do, I have no weakness, right? We got one Bridget. We got one Hala, which I love to use when I use Algorithm GX, is to grab a Hala, because then it becomes like a better end. Which is why I'm only playing one. Hedge Maniac, because you gotta be able to shut off abilities. Really hinders. I got Karen for the Vespa Quinn matchup, if there is any. Um, also, it helps if I have to discard Metagrosses very early in the game, since I only have three, to get them back into the deck. Um, and then we have Generals here. We have two Lysander, two N, one Olympia, one Kukui, four Sycamore. Three uh, choice bands. I have two rainbow energy instead of uh, instead of psychic energy, and then I have uh, eight metal energy, and that is the deck. I will go ahead and uh, export it, copy it to my clipboard, and put it in the description of the video. So let's go ahead. Um, actually, we're kind of. Uh, your deck has unsaved changes. You sure you want to discard them? No! Sorry, I guess I do have to save this. This is meta equals gross GX with Dell. <laughs> with a little Dell Mize in it, you know. We got our Chansey coin, we got our Psychic uh, deck box, and we didn't have any sleeves. Let's use a Genesec sleeves, I guess. Unless there's any better ones in here. Magirna! Let's use metal sleeves. Our Magirna sleeves. Let's use Magirna sleeves and Sogolio deck box. <laughs> because we can. There we go. The deck is saved. 
Um, what I was going to check real fast, though, is collection, because I think I did throw some packs in here. Okay, so we have six Guardians Rising. We will open that at the end of the video. And we might even open up three Steam Siege as well, since we have three of those locked. Let's go ahead. We're going to see, you know, how many matches we can get into here. And it is Meta Equal Gross GX Dell. And let's play. Who are we facing? We're facing a Psychic Dark Dragon normal. So we're probably facing Dark Rye. If it is fast, it may overwhelm us quickly. Yes, I would love to go first. You can see I am feeling a little better. This week is definitely going to be different than normal weeks. I am geared up to do some legendary battles. I'm starting two new series of pack a day legendary battles so i'm front loading a lot of stuff onto those so that has some content ready and available um i'm excited about it i'm not sure if it's going to be a continuous thing but i'm sure want it to be Ooh, now this is rough because i'd love to just sick more of this which i think is the right call here this is my first turn let's just go ahead and sick more Yes, it throws a lot of supporters there, but it gives me gives me this uh, Bridget for a turn two, which is eh, kind of rough. But I'm gonna throw a metal energy on him, and I think we're done. Too bad I cannot beacon first turn. The only downside to that is like no beaconing the first turn, <clears throat> so he gets a Fighting Fury on that Giratina. He max elixirs to it. Does it hit? Does it hit? It hits. He gets another one. He can attack this first turn and like destroy me. Ooh, he parallel cities me. Yikes. Um, I get a shaman. That does not help me. Parallel city, I can only play three on my side of the bench. Yeah, I am limited to three. That makes this a very, very tough choice. Because I'd love to, uh,. Bridget, but I'm not sure if it's going to give me what I need. Let's go ahead and put another energy on Beldum. And yeah, let's go ahead and Bridget. It's only going to be for one, but I think I need to get that one down here so that I can like beacon for double Matangs here. Ah, oh, I should've got one Metagross. Darn. I should've got one Metagross. I forgot I had a rare candy in my hand. That is a big misplay. And does he get the float? He gets the float. Okay, so he turns off my abilities. That means I might have to algorithm right away. Let's go ahead and throw the things down. And I actually want that Trubbish up front there. We'll put this down and we will beacon for two Metagross. Dang, I got another one prize. Wow. Hard pass. I do here? He's like, what are you gonna do? I could Olympia. I think I'm gonna end. <laughs> the cards I have, I don't want right now. Ah, I can't end. I cannot end. Not with his board state. Pains me, but I got a Sycamore. Wasted that VS Seeker, but sorry. Two bad misplays in a row. He was ready for the end, and I was like, no, I can't give you the end, dude.
Yeah, this is what I should do here. Go ahead and retreat. And algorithm. Gives me cards I need, like field lower. Uh, I think I threw away some of that stuff. Yes, I did. Um, rescue stretcher. Um, I could probably alter the sun. Choice band, metal energy. <laughs> Make sure I get those. I could actually use another choice band even. So let's double check, make sure there's nothing else I want. Probably, probably a BS Seeker. So one, two, three, four, five. Those are the five cards I want. Oh, he really passed? Nice. He's actually gonna let me field blower here. Nice. So definitely the stadium and that. Float stone and get my space back. He's like, no. Well, wait till he sees this next move, because then he's gonna really know. Because I'm just gonna go ahead and geotech. Geotech again. Get my other one here. And I'm going to go ahead and Lysander his Giratina. Oops, don't forget the choice band. Do I have anything else in here? Uh, let's see. I think that's all I can do for now. I'm going to go ahead and Giga Hammer, which is not enough damage, but it does a lot of damage to this. Um, Giratina, 190. Which means he has 20 HP left. If I would have had the Kukui, I wouldn't have been able to Lysander. Real slow start for him. He, threw, he throws a Dark Eye out. I wonder why. Let's get that Shaman. I wonder if they have the Dragonair line in this deck. Really bad drawing from my opponent. I don't know why I didn't throw the Dark Ride on though. Maybe because does Dark Ride not stand a good chance against Metagross? Does Metagross have Darkness weakness or Psychic weakness? He threw another tool onto. Okay, so we'll have to keep that in mind. But there is another tool on that. Uh, Garchomp. Okay, what do we do here? How much damn HP do you have? You have 20 HP. Now, I think what I need to do is I need to find a Beldum. It does 10 damage. Yeah, it only does 10 damage. This is what to say if I can. So, almost what I need to do here is to well, definitely throw down the Beldum. And then, um. I have to retreat. I don't have anything I can do 20 damage. Go ahead and heal this Metagross. And... Giga Hammer. There's no energy on the board. It gives me two prizes. And the reason why I think that's the best choice is because, there you go, that second field blower that I added specifically for these Garbotoxins. Makes it a little easier than what I was about to do. There we go, a victory. Let's go ahead and try another match. So it looked like somebody was trying Darkrai Giratina with the Garbodor, which is a little clunky, which is probably why they struggled a little bit. They made it prime 
So Brian made it prime to get the, the Garbodor out and get those abilities shut off. But uh, by doing that, he was not able to power up a Darkrai in order to get big damage on me. Hey look, an uncommon chest. Four of them. Four uncommon chests. Let's go ahead and open the uncommon chest as well with those Guardians Rising packs. But let's play one more, see what we get. Looking for an opponent. Who wants to play against Metagross? This deck is very hype. Some people will just concede if they don't want to face Metagross. Psychic Electric. Normal. This is probably Tapu Koko. Let's go ahead with Tails. No, Chauncey showed up. I thought he was rare. Simonsin? Simonsin. So, let's see. I think we are facing a... Luckily, we got that Alolan Vulpix. I think two is a good number of Alolan Vulpix, because you can generally at least start with one. Okay, okay, let's see. It is Tapu Koko! Is this the promo one? No, that is the one from the set. Very nice pool. Full art Bridget. Let's see, what what are they gonna pull? A Raikou and a Drampa? Hmm. Where's their Team Magma's base then? They need the Team Magma base. No? Okay then. Ooh, Hex is so tempting to use, but... Yeah, I might have to use that Hex. So I think I'm gonna Ultra Ball. Ooh, no, I can't use the Hex, I gotta use the... Let's just do the normal. Have these two for later. Go ahead and grab the Lele. No dumb eyes. don't try to trick me. It's Lele time. Drop the Lele if the game doesn't lag. Called for the Sapata. Grabbing that Bridget. Playing that Bridget. And we're gonna get two Beldums. Actually, I need to start grabbing this other Beldum. And a Domize. And then, do I wanna? Yes. I don't need anything. It's gonna give me, what, an energy? Eh, that's useful. Energy onto the bell then. Ooh, I got a red candy too. Which means I can beacon for a Matang and a Metagross. Okay, that's my turn. Um, I'll be right back, my opponent's gonna have their turn. Had to run to get my. Don't know how muffled that was, and you guys were hearing it. My computer is done. I got to get the charger in. Okay, so we have our uh, thing. We'll go ahead and rare candy. Get that Metagross out. Get a second energy on to Metagross. And do I have any metal energy? Nope, I do not have any metal energy into the discard. Um, Ace of Paradise. I'm gonna give myself one more turn to mess around with this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Beldum to evolve next turn and a Metagross. And let's see if Tapu Koko is going to get his final energy on him. Yes, he is, and he's probably going to demolish. Ooh, he's going to end me. That is fine. That is fine. Because I need an energy. 
hoo hoo in those choice bands. Well, there is no reason not to right here. Go ahead and throw that on there, the choice band. Um, now I still need something else to knock him out. Which I could get. I think that's the right choice. Sorry, Max Potion. And the best option is to grab that Delmise for that energy boost. Now, what do I have in here? A Bridget, <coughs> a Hex Maniac, and an Olympia. I think I'm going to Hex Maniac. I don't need any energy here. Ooh, he did not like that and gave up. So here is my opponent's Tapu Koko deck. Has four Tapu Kokos, a Raikou, um, three Tapu Leles, and two Grandpas. I think what they need to put in here, which would be a pretty good idea, is 20 energies. That's a lot. No wonder you're dead drawing. That's a lot of energy. <coughs> I guess you wanted to make sure you get all those max elixirs though. Um, but what they probably should put in here is a Tapu Koko, uh, Flying Flip, and a Team Magma's base. And I could see that deck doing a lot. Doing a lot. Because you have the Free Retreater, the 20 plus damage, the 20 damage, and it also boosts Drampa's um, damage as well. I think that is how you could easily pair up this deck to look really good um i guess let me open up in the deck manager and show you first off you do not need 20 energies this is a lot i'll keep it at 12 because then we can still hit those um maxi looks but what you need is two of these guys and <coughs> put these guys in there as well. You still have space for four cards. Granted, I don't know if I'd run this many, um... I don't know if I'd run this many, uh, different stadiums. Maybe not the rough seas. Maybe just these two. You could even run more of these. Um, you could even, since you want to search out that, you could run either, uh, a, a Skyla, or a, uh, a mallow. And, uh, maybe some draw support. I don't know. A little more draw support. You have Kukui. You have N. You have Sycamore. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So you still have four, yeah, four energies. Or, yeah, something. Yeah, try that out. Is it, here's a an overview of the whole deck. So if you guys want to try out a, a quad Tapu Koko Bryce uh, Tapu Lele, I think this is a good idea right here. You still have four spaces for whatever you want to add to it, which is kind of nice. But as we were going with our... Uh, ooh, let me save this, sorry. Save this as opponent's Coco, even though we added to it. And, and I'll look at, I'll adjust that one later if I ever have enough of those ones. But as we were saying, um, we're going to go to our collection here. We have packs to open. All of these packs, but we're going to start with these four uncommon chests. Since we got those during the, during the ladder matches. We got a Nidorino. Let's open another. And we got a Pelipper. Another. Another uncommon would be a rare with some five coins. And that is an Avala. Okay. Okay, last uncommon just is Pidgeot Spirit Link. Fun. Let's go back here. We got six Guardians Rising. 
that is the set that we want. Let's see what we get. So I'm not a low in nine tails. Which kind of luck you giving us? Here? Oh, darkness energy, Barboach, Tentacool, Taylor, Phantom. Ooh, reverse foil rare is a Heliolus. Okay, <laughs> holla at your boy again. And a Tapu Lele. Very, very nice. And it's locked, so no one can take it from me. Please wait while we build your pack. Just build it the same way you built the other one. I'll be fine with that. A Sudowoodo, a Fatillo. And a Garbalar, that trash a lange. <laughs> Psychic deck coming, right? <laughs> Another darkness energy. Machop with that dab. Machop with that dab. And our rare in the pack is a Minior. Three packs left. We get that wind pod, that Gloomy. Another field blower and a Lilligant. Petal Blizzard. Two more packs go. Here we go with our favorite rock rock, that shady penguin over here. Right? A shady penguin. And our reverse foil rare is an Absol. Very cool. Very cool looking card. And our rare is a victory bell. Okay, one more pack. And then I'll let you guys go on to your day. Your evening. Have a good evening. Ooh, a reverse foil max potion. That much choke. And our rare is Gudra. That power whip. Still, I, I think I need to start getting together a Gudra deck that does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon and to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Power Whip and a uh, Beat Slider. Opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Very fun looking card. I need to try it out. Um, next time, be on the lookout for a... Uh, Actually, what kind of match was I doing next time? Well, it'll be a surprise then, because I don't remember what it was. So, look out for another video of PTCGO on Wednesday. Look out for some legendary battles this week. And this has been Dapper Drabby, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Alola, bye-bye now.